Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Drusilla Shea. If you don't know already, today is gonna be quite an interesting video because I don't often do videos like this. I have actually wanted to do this kind of video for a very long time. Recently, Aisha Curry and the other ladies of the Curry family went on the Red Table Talk to have an interview with Jada Pinkett Smith. And something that Aisha Curry said definitely calls a lot of conversation. Now, in case you don't know what she said, here it is. Something that really bothers me and like honestly has given me a sense of a little bit of an insecurity is the fact that, yeah, like there are all these women like throwing themselves, but me, like the past 10 years, like I don't have any of that. Like I have zero, this sounds weird, but like male attention. And so then, you like, I begin to internalize it, and I'm like, is something wrong with you're me? Not, like, you're not looking. Like, what? You're not looking. Like, because of this comment, a lot of people had a lot to say. This conversation of insecurity needs to happen. Insecurity is something that a lot of people deal with and insecurity is not only shown through feeling less than with physical appearance. Sometimes people can feel insecure about their socioeconomic background, their age, where they are in life and that pressure of having to be somewhere else. It really is a mental, physical, emotional, and spiritual thing to feel less than, to feel insecure, to feel like you're not matching up. It's something that I have dealt with in the past. And even as an adult, I felt insecure about certain things. I give props to Aisha for being vulnerable. And it's unfortunate that as a celebrity, it comes with a lot of commentary, good and bad. I just want to take this time to really unpack what she said. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be having a little chit chat okay while I get ready I'm just gonna be doing my go-to makeup look and chatting with you guys and instead of me stopping the video every time I put on a new product I'm just gonna write it down below so that I don't have to keep stopping the video to tell you guys what I'm putting on my face so we're about to get started but you already know what you gotta do right do not forget to subscribe and help your girl out and don't forget to also turn on your bell notifications so that you will always be up to date on my newest uploads all right guys let's talk when I first heard what Aisha said I genuinely was really confused about why people were almost offended by what she said I decided I was gonna take notes on what people said I was also going to take notes on what I learned so let me get my notes let me get my notes <laughs> I have dealt with insecurity from a very young age I'm gonna be really really real in the world that we live in it's like something that's almost ingrained in you that your worth or your value comes from what other people think about you and how other people see you it a lot of times had to do with like physical appearance when I was younger and even when I was older honestly and I never really thought that I was ugly but speaking very truthfully based off of like the friends that I had that were getting attention I felt like I started to see a trend it was the girls who had bigger butts the girls who were a little bit thicker this was from like when I was 12 years old so this is not something that only adults experience this is something that a lot of times we internalize at a young age that you know you're just more appealing and people just like you more or you're more attractive or you get more attention when you have certain assets even growing up as an African, a lot of Africans take pride in being thicker. And a lot of African women especially are naturally thicker. So when you're like that one woman in your family who's like not thick, like at all it's kind of like a, a pressure to gain weight of course you're gonna feel like in your own body that there is something wrong or you're going to start to feel like you need to change because people keep saying that you need to gain weight or oh Shay Shay she doesn't have a butt or oh this like even though a lot of times too in African culture that's kind of how it is like insulting people is kind of like the culture which I'm not gonna get into that that's a whole different conversation but even though it's said in almost like a jokey way when you hear it like for long periods of time 
from a lot of people, it definitely starts to naturally become something that you internalize. And I was speaking to my friend about it too. She's Dominican and she said that that's also a thing in her culture too where insulting people is like how they joke around. Sometimes it's not okay because it can really start to make people feel insecure about certain things and you may not even realize it because you're just saying it like a joke. But anyway, like I said, that's a whole different conversation. So for a lot of my life, I was insecure about the fact that I was a thin girl I would always want to be thicker I was also insecure about my eyebrows because people would always pick on me so you know I would always see it as like a flaw for me it was about physical appearance however it stems from a internal place how I thought about myself had to do with what other people thought about me and even when you think about advertisements ax commercials they kind of teach you to want to be wanted by other people. I'm not doing a very good job at multitasking. So I remember when I was younger wanting to get male attention. I just wanted guys to be like, yo ma. I remember that there was like this one specific summer that I'd be wearing like these tube dresses. My boobs started to grow. I just kept getting catcalled and I actually really grew to despise getting catcalled. So you got to be careful what you wish for because when you get it, it's not always what you thought it would be. <laughs> I started to understand that my worth doesn't come from other people. Sometimes people will not see you for your value. It really does have to do with how God sees you and how God labels you. There's this song that goes, I know who God says I am, what he says I am, where he says I'm at, I know who I am. So it's just the concept of if you know what God made you to be, who God made you to be, and where he has placed you, then you have a security in who you are yourself. But that's easier said than done. In society, we struggle with like an identity crisis because we don't really know who we are outside of like what people label us to be. So the first thing that I realized that people were saying and responding to about Aisha's comment was that she should not feel like she needs to be validated outside of her marriage. People were pretty much saying that Aisha's validation should come from her husband. I actually don't think that that should be the case. I believe that validation shouldn't come from man in general, man, woman, human. <laughs> I think that validation has a lot to do with yourself and God. If you place your validation in another person and god forbid that person decides that they don't want to be in your life anymore for whatever reason when they leave your validation leaves with that person honestly i'm not faulting aisha because i feel like it's a very common thing to feel especially in the world of social media a lot of people place their worth in how much likes am i getting and trust me i'm not speaking as someone who has got it all figured out because I don't. This is what I'm trying to reach. If you genuinely know who you are, nothing and no one can tell you any differently. Because a lot of this mindset even starts from a young age, it kind of just like carries on. When it comes to who you are, it has a lot to do with who God has called you to be. What has he called you to do? And I pray about that all the time because like I said, insecurity is something that I have struggled with and it's more of an internal growth that needs to happen. Aisha also commented about this in an Instagram post after the Red Table talk. She made mention of the fact that she was speaking her truth and as a mother of three kids, this is something that a lot of mothers go through. I'm not a mom yet, but I can see why, you know, a lot of mothers go through this because when you become a mom, your body changes, who you are changes. And sometimes it almost feels like your identity is wrapped up in your kids. Um, like I said, I'm not a mom, but I've definitely heard mom say this. So another thing that I learned from the interview is that it is true that comparison is the thief of joy. As you can see in Aisha's response, what she was doing was comparing how much attention her husband was getting to the attention that she was getting. They didn't quite match up. I think what we also need to clarify, I guess, is 
how men show their interest compared to women. So there are a lot of groupie women out there. I'm not saying they aren't groupie men, but they will show up to the games with really revealing outfits with the intention of getting, you know, a basketball player's attention. And there are women who will go to the extremes to get the attention of a basketball player. What I think is important to point out is that in this society, the life of a basketball girlfriend or basketball wife or just being the partner to an athlete is glamorized it's romanticized and i mean you even have the show called basketball wise they have a whole show about it and i mean it really is not as glamorous as it seems but the industry that aisha is in which is like cooking lifestyle home life mom life that's not romanticized so because the life of an athlete and being the spouse of an athlete is a little bit more romanticized there is that environment where you know there are people literally throwing themselves at you know athletes so it kind of sets that tone and sets that environment where like this is the kind of thing that happens but when it comes to lifestyle and cooking it's not really the profession or the environment where it invites you know that kind of aggressive um flirting you're probably not going to see a man in just an apron sitting there like hey you know what i'm saying like you see basketball wives the show you don't see like chef spouses chef husbands so you're not going to see attention presented in the same way the lifestyle profession is way more family friendly home friendly kid friendly do i believe that men still hit on aisha absolutely because i think that she's beautiful and i think people probably slide into her dm she probably doesn't read them but i think men also are even a little less aggressive in certain environments than women are i really think it's an environmental thing like i really believe that if aisha decided she wanted to go to the club she would be hit on by guys i'm sure a lot of men believe that she's beautiful and a lot of people also mention the fact that she is married to someone who's highly respected in his industry and so a lot of men because they respect steph curry are probably not going to try to get at his girl because they respect him and i do think that there is some truth to that something that i find interesting about people's commentary to Aisha is that people are pretty much saying that she's not allowed to feel this way because she has this loving husband and this wonderful you know looking family people have this idea that you have it all so what's your issue and I don't think that that's fair to project on her people who are successful a lot of people who are in marriages deal with issues still a lot of people who are married or are in relationships commented and kind of brought it back to their own marriages saying i would never look for validation outside my marriage how can i feel insecure when you know i have a husband who's like this and who's like that but one thing that we have to distinguish is there's a difference between your relationship and someone else's relationship we also have to bring in the context that he is a very popular successful well-known basketball player it's a different kind of pressure that she's dealing with it's not fair to put the standards of your relationship on someone else's relationship a lot of people are quick to point the finger and judge and they say that you're not allowed to feel this way and this is why this is why people actually end up keeping these challenges and these insecurities to themselves instead of judging instead of pointing the finger instead of invalidating her feelings we should acknowledge that okay this is how you feel thank you for being honest and we are going to encourage you and uplift you and that's even something that it says in the bible that what you say should be uplifting to other people the fact that she acknowledged it is the first step to even growing we should be doing more of the uplifting to her we should be telling her that her worth doesn't have to do with man it has to do with who God made her to be. I think that we should do better at encouraging people. Aisha is not the only one going through this. There are women and men who have seen this interview and has actually related to it. So remember that this feedback and this commentary is not only at Aisha, it's at 
people who feel the same way as her. So the last thing that I took notes on is this part where she says, is there something wrong with me? I think that's the part that got me the most because it's heartbreaking when people start to question who they are and their worth when they don't have certain results in life. So I think what's important to try to internalize is that our worth does not come from outward things, things that will one day perish. Who you are is who God has called you to be. I pray about these things because wherever I'm weak, God is strong. So wherever I feel like I'm falling short, I'm like, Lord, please, like, just help me. Remind me of who I am, Holy Spirit. Like, I pray these things and they work because there's nothing like too little that you can lift up in prayer. If there's something that you're struggling with, if you feel like there's an insecurity, pray about it. All right, guys, I am done with this makeup look. Before I fully end this video, I just want to remind you all that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. I want you to know that your worth and your value does not come from man. It is what God thinks that matters. If you wanna know more about what he thinks, it's in his word, you'll learn obviously way more about God and you learn actually way more about yourself than you think. I open up the floor for you guys. Let me know your thoughts. Let's make this a conversation because I think that it's an important conversation to have. And I plead with you guys, so let's just keep this as positive as we can, where we can grow, where we can learn from each other and where we can encourage each other. So with that being said, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Do not forget to comment, subscribe, and turn on your bell notifications. And I I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.